Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to add third-party plugins to the push. Super helpful, especially if you are performing live and want to have a lot of the parameters within the plugin at your fingertips. So let's talk about how to do that. Right now, I'm not seeing anything. I just started up Serum. Nothing, nothing mapped here yet. So just really quickly, uh, I'm going to pull up. I'm just going to design a really basic sound here. Just super, super basic, super quick to kind of get us off and running. Maybe use some fun wavetable shapes today so we can we can have some more fun with mapping parameters over here. So cool. Maybe do a little bit of detuning here just for fun. Alright. So just a kind of a basic sound going so far, just to have something to work with. Right now, what you're seeing on the push is anything that I click on, uh, you're gonna see pull up here on the push. So right now I'm just clicking on different knobs and things and I'm seeing that come up on the push. But nothing's actually mapped to it yet other than that. So let's let's do that. A couple of thing, ways we could do this. We could map things one by one. We could also use these macro knobs over here as well. Let's just start one by one. So maybe the first fun thing we could try is mapping the cutoff frequency here to a knob. That'd be fun to have. So this is super easy. All we're going to do is go down here to uh, where the plugin lives here in Ableton, and we're going to click on the little triangle, the little pie symbol here. And now I can see I have an option, I have a button that says configure, and it even tells me to add plugin parameters to this panel. Click this button. So we're going to do that. All I have to do is click that button, and now I'm going to go to Serum and click on the parameter I want to add. So I'm going to click on the cutoff frequency, and bam, there it is. So now I can turn that configure off, and now I can see over here, uh, I've got it right here on the push. Now, you can't really tell that it's really working yet because that was the parameter we had already clicked on. So let's do another one just so we can understand how this is working. Maybe let's add the wavetable position. Uh, that, that could be kind of fun. Yeah, maybe let's add, let's add those. So, whoa, there we go. So uh, here, let's do that. I'm going to go to configure again, and I'm going to click on wavetable position for A, and then I'm also going to do it for B. Now let's turn configure off. Now you can see I've got all three there. <coughs> so we can have fun adjusting those. <laughs> Now I can also uh, add things to these macro knobs, kind of make some super knobs, and map those macros then to the push. So for instance, let's do that. Maybe, let's see, maybe play with some, some stuff here, maybe with some sync stuff. That might be fun. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Let's do that. So let's map some sync to a macro here. A macro is basically just like a super knob where we can put a bunch of parameters on one knob and it kind of makes things neat and tidy. So let's map uh, this sync on both oscillators to this first macro. So now when I turn this guy, I'm getting that crazy sync thing happening. Right now I'm seeing macro one again on the push only because I have it selected, but let's officially map it there because I can see here it's not really mapped yet. I just have simply clicked on it right now. So I'm going to hit configure, I'm going to click on the macro, and there it is. So now, my crazy sync button, my other fun stuff I can play with here, all mapped to the push. All right, and I can keep going, I can keep adding things here. Uh, add, to my liking, depending on how I want to organize it. You're going to notice if you go to different presets here within Serum, you're going to see different things depending on how the sound is organized, depending on how it was programmed. Uh, but we could also do this with other types of synth as well. Massive, any other plugins, for the most part, uh, will we'll work this way. So that was it today, just really quickly. Just wanted to show you how to do that and have fun mapping things to the push.